Hey guys, so recently I had a chance to help my buddy Bob clean the engine in this 1973 Stingray, something that hadn't been done for at least 20 years. It wasn't horrible, but it needed some attention, and we decided to use some chemicals, and we used gunk engine cleaner to uh, give it a deep cleaning because it really needed that. I suppose you can also do a dry cleaning of sorts by not using uh, water, but this one needed uh, a little more attention, so we uh, opted to use the chemicals and as you can see here we're in the process of waterproofing the carburetor and we did the same for the alternator coil and distributor And if you're planning to do this in your driveway, you want to wet the concrete because once you rinse the chemicals off of the engine, you don't want them to stain the pavement. Anyway, this is what I like to use, the engine degreaser by Gunk. It works really well. It's pretty thick and it uh, sticks pretty well to the engine. Which, by the way, you don't want it to be hot. I mean, he started the car to roll it out of the garage, and that's plenty. I don't believe that the engine has to be hot for this to, to do its thing. And I don't like to spray cold water on a hot engine anyway. One thing to keep in mind, you can always protect the fenders from overspray. We did not, because even though this stuff is pretty good, it's not a paint stripper. We, um, whenever there was any overspray, Bob would go over that area and clean it with uh, some water and also some detailer. And that's, that took care of it. There was no other issues. And as you can see, I'm laying it pretty thick in some areas. And that's the, uh, the whole idea. After you're done with that, you want to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And try to get it in every little nook and cranny and crevice you can find and again the, the trick is to let it do its thing for about 15 or 20 minutes another thing that we did of course is use some stiff brushes old toothbrushes and again all you want to do is agitate all the all the grease and the dirt and help the uh, the product do the the job Take your time, I mean, there's no rush when it, when it comes to this. Again, you have about 15 to 20 minutes. You can see some of the grease kind of sitting on top of the valve covers. And uh, again, let the product do its work. And then after about 15, 20 minutes, just rinse it off with some water. And you don't want a lot of pressure. You just want a very gentle stream of water. Turn it down just a Good. So as you can see, some of the dirt has really come off, but it's sitting on top of the, uh, the valve covers. All you need to do is just wipe it off with, uh, in this case, with a paper towel. And if you take your time, you can really make these things look great. 
And uh, again, that's the uh, the whole idea of using the degreaser, and then you have to come back with uh, some kind of a rag or a paper towel and uh, do a little more detailing. And in some areas, you can see the uh, the paint has chipped off, so there's there's nothing I can do about that. But you still want to dry as much as possible and uh, you get it looking really really good and here's the uh, aftermath with uh, just a piece of paper towel so we'll keep doing this and uh, paying as much attention to detail as possible to get it looking really good so um, I'll put you guys now on, uh, on a time lapse As you can see here, it's been a heck of an improvement. And of course, the intake manifold could use a good coat of Chevy Orange. We may do that in the, in the future. This is the moment of truth. We'll see if it starts. Now you probably noticed a little bit of water, leftover water being slung off the, uh, the pulleys and the belt. And by the way, I don't know why the uh, iPhone sometimes makes the engine sound so, so rough and so weird. But uh, even though it needs a little bit of a tune-up, something we did a little a little later. I just started right up and it ran okay. I also use this bare bones by chemical guys, even though it's not intended for this. I like to um, spray some of that stuff over the the engine bay parts of the engine. I think it adds a layer of protection. It looks good. And um, again, the whole idea is to keep this protected uh, in the future. And after you do that, you want to wipe it off and I'll, and I'll do that in a sec. do is go over it with a towel, rag or something just to remove the excess and and that's all it, you need to do with this product really makes a huge difference and you end up with a very nice sheen which uh, I really like. And here you can see the, the finished product for the most part. I say for the most part because I still have to detail some of the hoses, spark plug wires with VRP, which is um, a product uh, like a, a, a cream for um, vinyl 
rubber and plastics, which makes them look really, really nice and shiny. But the engine in this 1973 Stingray is looking great, and uh, we are very pleased with the results. And as you probably know by now, I cannot leave well enough alone, so at some point, I think we're going to do some more detailing, and that is going to involve probably repainting the intake manifold, which can really use it. And we have uh, a few other projects in the works, kind of, for this particular Corvette, so um, stay tuned because there's going to be more content coming out soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a like. And also, if you are not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.